Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Kelly Harrington smash that subscribe button, go ahead and have him smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the following patrons. Marshall, Valentin, Brenda, Solo Star LA, my Tokayo Hector, Coach Ken, Miguel L, AI Vega, Fio, Claudia, Miguel, let our actions lead others to Christ, Big Bad 48, Nova, Jack, Linda, Michigan Wolverines, Marius, Chevelle 66, Abuelita's Journey, and Dallas Herrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, make sure you hit that link in the description below. You are definitely missing out. This episode right here, man, is kind of a subject I have yet to talk about in depth, right? And that is the topic of the crisis response team. CRT. Well, Hector, what is it? What is it? In, in, in layman's terms, the CRT, Crisis Bond Team, is the SWAT team for the prison system. California, California Department of Correction, where I happen to do 16 years as an officer, sergeant, and lieutenant. All right. Before that, the CRT was called SERT, Special Emergency Response Team, CERT. Right. When I came into the department in 2006, it was called the crisis response team. Before I joined corrections, I served in the United States Army. I was a grunt. Infantry, ground pounder, 11 bang bang, right? 11 bullet catcher. I deployed to Iraq for 13 months in the year 04 to 05. It was the beginning of the insurgency with the guerrilla warfare, Operation Iraqi Freedom, two roadside bombs, car bombs, V bids, ambushes, incoming rocket mortars, the whole shebang, right? If I had it in my system that I wanted to go around shooting bad guys, I definitely got that out of my system, right? If I wanted, if I had it in my system that I wanted to kick in doors and bring down terrorists or said to be terrorists, right, that the government had told me at that time, then I got that out of my system. At a very young age, the age of 19, So there I land, Sentinella State Prison, weighing 204 pounds. Fat, pudgy, SOB I was, right? You look at my academy pictures, I might even up. The beauty of, of, of YouTube is you're able to add a picture. I might add a picture of how damn chubby my damn cheeks were, right? Your boy was full of sex, drugs, rock and roll, and alcohol, right? I was wilding out. Right. When I came back from Iraq, I was wilding out. The PK, the kitchen, the cafe at Sentinella. That's where the officers would be able to eat. They sold burritos there. They sold like carne asada fries. It's a cafe, right? Like a Mexican diner, whatever you want to call it. Right? They had different types of food. I seen a, a lieutenant, right? Solid lieutenant, right? Because throughout, that was early on in my career. Later on, you I worked for some garbage ass trash lieutenants, man. Panicking people, rat people, just the whole genre, right? This guy was solid. Looking back now, definitely. He was the lieutenant of Charlie Yard Sentinella. At that time, or shortly after, the whole time he was on the level four yard, right? He was on the crisis response team. I see him in the hallway right there because it goes to the cafe, the, the PK, right? You go to the bathroom right there. There's like ERO where you get in trouble, right? I got suspended one day for a DUI. I had to go there, get my paperwork. And he says like, hey, youngster, you ever think about joining the CRT? And I'm like, nah, LT, I'm good, man. My days of running and gunning are over. He's like, is that right? I was like, yeah, sir. He's like, all right, all right. So like, I meant it. In my heart, I meant it. I was fucking done. Not to mention I was fat, right? 204. I know what you're thinking. 204 isn't fat. For me, it was fat, right? Right now, I'm 190. Thank you. Gracias. A ti. So, 
didn't pay it any mind, didn't even want it, didn't even, wasn't concerned, wasn't not my problem, wasn't. And I'm going to keep it real with you guys, because this is a real and raw, you know, testimony. The blacks and the Mexicans had rioted on Delta Yard, Centinella, in 06. Because when I got there, they were on lockdown as a result of that riot. So I remember walking through complex, and I seen the crisis response team. It was a combined team from Calipat and Centinella, meaning you had members from both prisons on one single team. I believe back in the day, they had their own two separate teams. This was not the case during this time frame. They had helmets on. But they were in formation. Formation, right? Like you see military, you see like the parade deck, you see like you watch YouTube, you see military people walking, marching left, right, left, right. And I remember thinking to myself, oh, hell no. And this is the truth, right? I'm like, hell no. Like, miss me with that. I'm cool, right? Kind of glad I told that lieutenant, like, I'm cool. Reason being is because I had already did that. Like, I wasn't trying to go back to that, right? I wasn't. Your boy Hector's rebellious, man. I'm a rebellious individual. I don't like authority. Imagine that, right? Former peace officer. I don't like authority, right? Just my personality. So the last thing I want to do is be marching in prison. Uh, And they were just doing cell searches, right? (laughs) I know what you're thinking. You probably laugh. But anyhow, they were just doing cell searches, right? Nothing drastic, nothing crazy, nothing awe-striking. So I'm like, nah, I'm cool, right? Eight years go by. Eight years go by. That's eight years, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. My homies were, my friends were on the CRT team, crisis response team. And I knew them. I grew up with them from kindergarten, right? I'm from Brawley. They're from Brawley. It's a small town. That's what they did. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to keep it real with you guys, man. I was a shit talker, right? Imagine that. I was a shit talker of the crisis response team. I truly was. I was, man. I would talk shit. I would like uh, be sarcastic. You know, that was, that was part of me being young, immature. Uh, Matt, I would later go on to be the crisis response team commander of the Donovan team, but this is just my mindset at that time. I used to talk a lot of shit, right? So it just goes to show you people can grow. Things can change, right? Huge shit talker, man. You know, you got like cert haters and this and that. I was a cert hater, right? Keeping it real. But I saw that... My friend, my friend in particular, right? I, I, I owe, I'm going to say I owe credit to him. I do. He was doing big things in the department. It was, he was, looked like he was enjoying his time in the department. And I'm like, that's cool, man. Because I, you guys know how bad uh, I've stated it can be, right? If you, do, if you, if you get sucked into that negativity, it can be bad. But like, hey, this dude is like going to cool trainings. This dude is like promoting i don't think he had promoted yet but like dude was in squad the isu the goon squad investigative services unit so i'm like i i could see what's transpiring here and at that time eight years i kind of had not peaked right because i could never say i peaked at the eight years but i lost my drive at like the eight year i was missing something Right, I was learning, learning, learning. And you're always going to be learning, but I'm like, all right, here we go. Here we go. So when I, the last day I'm at Sentinella and I sign out, you have to go, for those that don't know what the process is, you guys want to know how green works. If you transfer to another prison, if you promote to another prison, if you retire, they give you a packet. With that packet, you have to go around and get signatures from every place and every department. You have to go to the armory and give back your stab-resistant vest and say, hey, here, sign off on it. Cool. Thank you. Going to miss you guys. You too. Uh, you have to go to procurement. Make sure you didn't rent out a state vehicle and it's parked in your garage. Nah, the homie doesn't have a state vehicle. 
you got to go to the public information officer. And one of the spots is investigative service unit. You got to go to sign off that you're not under some type of investigation. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you go and they're like, oh, buddy, we can't sign off on that. Really? Why? Oh, I can't tell you that either. Matter of fact, turn around, put your hands behind your back. What the fuck? Not again. God, golly, G. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. So, <laughs> I tell the homie, my age, this dude had like a year or two on me in the department. Which is cool, man. And uh, I looked up to him. I still do, right? I still do. Good dude. Solid individual. So I'm like, hey, bro, I think I'm going to try out for the CRT team when I get to Donovan, man. And he's like, hey, you should, bro. Like, we're in the hallways, just me and him. You should, man. I know you have your uh, your thoughts on, on the team and this and that. But you're actually going to be surprised when you go to the training it's really great training. You're going to like it. Trust me. And I'm like, cool, man. Thank you. Good luck and everything. Bam. Who would never... Don't trip. I still have that homie in mind, right? He's going through some BS with the department. Don't trip. I'm just watching and sitting back and waiting, right? When the department makes a move, I'll make a move, right? I'm a loyal individual. That's that, right? I didn't abandon anybody, so I'm just waiting Go ahead. Let's see what the state does. Then Hector moves to move. Move. It's like chess, right? Chess is good. I like chess. Not great at it, but I like it. So I get to Donovan State Prison where my fucking whole world got turned upside down. And it, like, chest pains, ED, hypertension, right? I'm just all shot out on the inside. I'm all jacked up, right? There was a loot. <sighs> he was a sergeant. At the time, young dude, he became the commander. He was the commander of the Donovan crisis response team. He had just promoted to lieutenant. Again, I've always, I was going to say, I've always been into young dudes with rank. No mames. Hey, it's 2023. I've always looked up to individuals that were young and in rank positions. Because that... In the military, I saw my young staff sergeants, and I'm like, holy shit, he's like a youngster, but he has this role. <sighs> and I hate it that my friends got killed in Iraq, but those were the type of leaders that they were, right? So I see this young lieutenant. He tells me, we were working Delta Yard. He was a lieutenant. I was a sergeant. Everybody was out to chow. We're sitting in the sergeant's office, and he tells me, hey, man, you ever thinking about, you ever thought about joining CRT? And I'm like, you know what? Yes. I had 10 years in the department already. Right? 10 years. That's how long it took, man. Let me see. 10 years. I was 32 years old. A sergeant. Right? All shot out. Kind of late in the game. And I'm putting an emphasis on that because you have people that will join the department very young and join the crisis response team very young. Like initially, right out the gate, right? So that wasn't my case. Late bloomer, as they say. He's like, all right, cool. We're going to have some tryouts coming up. And I'm like, cool. Tell the wife, hey, uh, I'm going to join CRT. She starts yelling at me. Didn't you always talk shit about CRT? I'm like, God damn, I can't do anything around you. Fuck, God, God forbid I try to do something that I like for once, right? Fuck, where's the dog at? Boom, mother, right? That's. My dog, my dog is deaf. My dog is deaf. It's a whole nother story. It pisses me off, right? So, I go to the tryouts. Um, Long day. Long day. By then, your boy had slimmed down, right? Was on the get right, drinking protein shakes like my boy Ron Davis. But I, I'm, I'm actually, you know, the part. He's just all talk. Gibberish, right? So, There, it's a long day, man. You're jumping over fences. You're jumping over walls. You're climbing up ladders. You're climbing upstairs. You're climbing downstairs. You are dragging a dummy that weighs around 185 pounds, but it actually weighs like 210, 215 because it gets wet with the rain, right? Low crawling. So there's your boy, man. Oldie, right? Oldie but goodie, like... <laughs> Not a young, not a spring chicken anymore, but there I am, right? Just like, 
pulling through, pushing through, right? Keep pushing forward. I say that at the end of every video. Pay attention. The tryout was strenuous. Physically. Physically, yeah, it was a freaking tryout, right? So, like, you do what you do. There's a process to that. You get interviewed by CRT members, by the commander, by the tactical leader, by the squad leaders. Why do you want to be in the crisis response team? Yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah, like, this is it. So that's when I became a PTM. Fuck, what year was that? 20... 2016, 2015, 2017. Became a PTM, potential te- team member. So just because you passed the tryouts does not mean that you're a crisis response team tactical operator, right? There's two, there's two elements, right? You got your tactical operator, right? Your, 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 your door kickers, so to say. Then you got your negotiation side. They get on the phone. No, John, please don't do that. We don't want to have to come in here and get you. Listen to reason. John? John? God damn it, we lost John. I should have been an actor, right? Maybe it's not too late. I want to do a Netflix documentary series on Meet the Donovans, right? It's going to be the whole fiasco on the corruption of Donovan State Prison. With that being said, this is part one. How I joined the crisis response team. It's probably going to be four or five parts because it was kind of a lengthy process. Uh, With that being said, if you haven't already signed up for the Patreon, make sure you hit the link in the description below. You do not want to miss out. The message for today is have an open mind. What you dislike today is something you might like tomorrow. What you like today is something you might dislike tomorrow, right? (laughs) I was going to say, unless you're married, right, then you're fucking stuck like Chuck, my boys. With that, keep pushing forward.